What are, what, what are these? What, what, what the hell is going on around here? I feel like someone definitely is in possession of an infinity stone around here. There's no way they aren't. What's up with the electrical storm? Oh, Jesus Christ, when it jumps at you, it's the scariest thing ever. Oh my God, it's right behind me, isn't it? You know what I really hate? Giant purple dragons. There's one right behind me, isn't there? Yo, what's going on, beautiful people? Ryus here, back playing Ark Anunnaki Genesis, trying to just recap from what the hell happened last episode. I was in such a blur, there was so much going on in life that I feel like I'm just trying to remember it, and I feel like it was definitely just the ma a majority of fails, right? That's what happened last episode. We have a lot to, we have a lot to redo. By the way, my buddy Repug reminded me where you actually get uh, 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 obsidian on this map. That was like the main issue last episode was I just could not for the life of me remember where the hell I got obsidian on this map before Which is of course the last resource needed before we can construct some crazy photon shoes and finally move this series forward in a whole new way Just gotta let my creatures know it's time to wander around freely Okay, so I did tame three wyverns before last episode one of them we lost in the jungle I don't think it's dead. There's no reason to think it's just chilling somewhere Um, but I did go ahead and name the other two all named after Snooky down in the comment section. We have Amber and Aether, and the other one, of course, would be named Chitari. That's what it was. So you guys had the advantage of looking at the comment as it popped up on the screen, but I had to go read it again. Just basically named after all the Infinity Stones. Unfortunately, Chitari is lost, but, I mean, it's pretty much lost from Thanos anyways. That's why Loki's ass is in so much trouble. I don't know why I had to say that. I'm just kind of super excited for Infinity Wars. Um, uh, er, doop -a -doop -a -doop. Okay, so now that I know where to go gather the resource, resource which wi resources with which my entire quest was last episode. Oh, can't even speak. I'm done speaking. I'm either choking or just dropping words all over the place or something. Okay, I literally have no memory of last episode, so I'm trying to regather my my brains. Looks like I have all the resources ready just to create the photon schnizzle which clearly was my primary goal in life. The only thing missing is exactly 25 obsidian, and then it looks like we're gonna actually be able to craft two of them, which is super awesome because I do not remember how strong the photon cannon is. I just know it's pretty damn beast. It's gonna be scary putting all my eggs in a couple baskets, or in one basket though, in, th in this basket. All right, let's just start this adventure before I get any more scared and back out of this. I'm over encumbered as is. Why the hell am I gonna go gather resources like this? Ooh, by the way, I wanted to let you guys know because you guys have been asking for a long time if I'm ever gonna have merch available. And I was like, where I'm like the only YouTuber up to half a million subscribers who doesn't have any merch available. This isn't where I put my stuff. But I finally do. I finally have it available. It's all down below. And there's actually some... I should start having one of those little pop-up things at the beginning of each video that shows it for 10 seconds. I might because... I feel like most YouTubers do that, and it's the best way to show all the stuff you've been... Because, I don't know, you put a lot of work and imagination into all the designs and everything that you use. So you want to showcase it a lot to your subscribers. You know what I'm saying? I just need this... This is, you know, when I'm feeling like de-civilizationizing a little bit, and I just want to go back to my roots, come back here and think. It's the masturbation tent, okay? That what do you want from me? The truth? That's what it is. So yeah, and I just made a Snapchat too because I realized my normal Snapchat with all my friends and people I went to school with, it just gets you in trouble with people. If you're ever going to be in a relationship, Snapchat will just get your ass in trouble. That's why the mistake I made last time. So I just figured that now I'd finally make a subscriber Snapchat like many, many of my YouTuber brethren have before with me. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, the link to my merch and to um, my Snapchat's in the description below now. Uh, I am horrified to open any snaps. I need to ask some of my YouTuber friends how they go about opening snaps from subscribers. I'm actually terrified too, because there's no sensor. Anything could, anything could happen, and the first weird thing that comes through is honestly gonna, I might delete my Snapchat. So I don't, I don't 100% open everyone's snaps whatsoever, but I do post some if you want to get a window into my life. That's, it's, it's a good way to. There, that's, that's what I meant to say. But I want the legendary flame, th no, legendary flamethrower is going in the chest down below. That's, come on, Johnny. Leave your legendary flamethrower with these scrubby ass resources. I do think now that I spent a few hours like getting all those subscriber tames for the whole uh, charity thing going on, as well. I, I nope, gotta bring your shotgun. Why do you have a torch out? Oh, cause it was dark. Basically though, now that I got on and did all that tedious work, now I'm free to get on. And I think next time I just get on offline, I'm just gonna be now I'm sprucing up the base. It's like, what are we at? Like level episode 13 or something? It's time to, we need at least another two, three floors. I think some sort of weird structure up there that connects. I don't know. And then I kind of want to expand our yard more because it's starting to get kind of crowded up in here. 
I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have like two sets. Let me know what you guys think. I'm gonna have like two sets of cages, just basically layers of cages. The middle or the the outer one. Actually, no, I don't really want to do that either. How should I do this? Perhaps I don't know. I need to figure. This is why I need to do this offline, so I don't bother you guys with like hours of planning and structurizing. Let's get that weight up a little bit. Ooh, wait. How's your movement speed actually, Amber? Oh, this is trippy because I actually have a, a sibling named Amber. I mean, a sibling, a cousin. Is that a sibling? Whoa there, buddy. Hang on a second. My, my guy barely consumes any food right now. If I'm not taking any damage, he consumes it very slowly. But the second we start taking damage, we are going to starve. Just gonna take Fireball out for a second. Still like, because I, I kind of haven't expanded the gates to really let all of our creatures out that well yet. But Fireball just bounces right over. Fireball doesn't give a shit. Oh, by the way, if you guys are enjoying Anunnaki, make sure to leave a like on the videos because, uh, you know, that same old whole thing every YouTuber says. It helps the video and all that shizzle. Say, you're not the strongest creature in the world, are you, buddy? Jesus Christ! They fight like gangs! Okay, we gotta go heavy moves. Yeah, how you like that? Holy stamina. Deplenishing Christ. Ah! Yeah, we got one of them. Got two of them. Oh, look, they're all weak. Yeah, don't you run. Drop the fire, Johnny. Drop the bomb. Oh, I guess you dropped the fire. That'll do, too. That'll work. I don't want to let that one trike survive. I feel like you can't let anyone survive this kind of situation. It may be cold-blooded, but if you think about it, I mean, like, you know, in those old-school movies where... Oh, yep, he's down for it, too. Brave, brave trike. That was a very brave trike right there. A warrior's death. So like, everyone says it's cruel, but if in the old school days or something, if you did, um, if you did, like, kill somebody, you, there's a small chance you're gonna have to, uh, I don't even want to say, because it's evil, but they would always kill the son as well, or they would always, you know what I'm saying, instead of just, because if you, I mean, it's horribly cruel, and I don't think anyone should be killing anybody, but I understand the logic a little bit, because that son is gonna make it his life goal to track that man that is father's killer and slay him. It will always be a thing. So yeah, it's just something you generally want to avoid. I don't think I'm gonna have any food on me now, because obviously I'm not waiting here till it cooks. But it'll be nice to have a nice sandwich to come back to, you know what I'm s- Oh ho ho ho! Maybe I will be having a sandwich now. I now stack it like this. You're crazy if you don't stack it like this, because Pegos will steal your food. It will happen. Alright, let's go adventure. Where's Amber? Oh, Aether's such a cool name. There's great name suggestions. The Infinity Stones, that's like, they, they have such good names. Even that name Infinity Stones is badass. It's like, why do they call it that? Because they harness an infinite amounts of power. Aw, oh, Zam. Suppose we should keep a lookout for our buddy down below, our fallen comrade. I really have no fr- it's because of the weather that day. You guys remember the weather in the last episode? It was like, it was like one of those foggy maps on, um, on PUBG where you can't see you can't see 15 feet in front of you? He's definitely not here. He's more by a landmass. I don't think he was this close to a beach. Or was he? Was it even a he? I almost thought that was him for a second, but this one's kind of wandering around pretty independently. It's going to be a long journey before we find our buddy, but he's definitely still alive. That dragon is so powerful. Whoa! Why would you click E? What the hell, Johnny? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Yeesh. Just randomly clicked E. That is like my worst nightmare right there. You guys would know something amazing I'm really excited for. I know normally you guys don't like it when I break concentration mid-travel, but look, we got, we're like halfway across the map from it. But the Monster Hunter beta comes out in three freaking days. Three days, man. Comes out in three freaking days. Monster Hunter beta, baby. And you know what even else is perfect? It, the beta is from the 9th to the 12th. And then on the 12th, Aberration comes out. <laughs> And then, and then on the 23rd, Mesozoica comes out. <laughs> he's, he's goddamn crazy. And then Prehistoric Kingdom, that epic Jurassic Park builder game, is having their Jurassic update, which is by far their biggest update freaking ever. Which is gonna be freaking insane. It's adding like so many creatures. I think that's gonna be in December as well. And then, um, sometime in the next month or two, Saurion's gonna implement so you can be all those other dinosaurs too, instead of just the raptor. And then Bigfoot is gonna drop its giant update where you get to play as the Snow Yeti. And, um, <laughs> in some time in the next month and a half. And then, it's just hilarious, man. In like three days, shit's about to get so real for like months. 
It was really cool because there's been an insane content drought on YouTube so it's with so many. Like, I see it with everybody. Every YouTuber I talk to are like, man, freaking content drought. I mean, thank God Anunnaki's fun as hell. Because otherwise, like, well, I guess I just wouldn't be doing it if it wasn't fun. That's the thing. Okay, I know I had a goal, but there's a purple drop and a purple drop. Two purple drops, if you could count them. That's a lot of purple dropping. All right, I really want to implement some teleporter mods so I could actually make my base up here. But I imagine getting, well, I guess I could just plant a teleporter down. But we don't even have element or anything of those sorts. Plus, the beach is really nice, but you really get a full, look how gorgeous this map is. Have these dropped yet? All right, we could do this. We have the technology. I just realized I didn't throw on any armor before leaving the house today, which is very freaking stupid. It's just, okay, a lot of, oh, some people were saying um, that I, I I don't try and avoid death easy enough. And so, there's no way in hell gonna make it. Yeah, there was, there was no way in hell. But um, see, the confusion is, hang on, what's my health right now? I'm at 3,000 health. You guys ever notice when looking at my stats in this, sometimes I have like 8,000 health, but most times, damn it, but most times I, oh, what if we could try some crazy boulder dashing shiz with these? Dude, this is like a Mario game. This would be crazy. I don't think I can grip onto those. I'm wasting a lot of grapples. But sometimes I spawn in here with like 8,000 health and sometimes I spawn it with like 3,000 health. I have absolutely no idea why sometimes it's different than other times. Literally no idea what's going on with that whatsoever. If you could plant down here, actually, that'd be perfect. But, um, so sometimes I just, without any, I just, it's just, it's just how my, how my dude, like, loads into the map. And, um, so sometimes I'm like three times stronger than other times. And it's really confusing to know when, which is going on. Oh god, please don't fall through the map around here. I don't know how much of these rocks count as legit. Legit boat. Oh, this is how we're doing it right here. Meep. You know what? Life is just what- that, that's a huge platform. We should be able to land it. Should be able to get on there just fine. I gotta put some reusable- reusable grapple mod on here. Okay, okay. This, we have to sacrifice it at a certain time or we're not gonna get either of them. This is so stupid. This is such a constant problem in my life! This is because the only mode of transportation I use is these giant wyverns with these insane turning radiuses. You think I would learn? You think I would have tamed a griffin or something by now? I really should have. I honestly might. I'm, this is kind of me coming to terms and realizing the error of my ways. That's what you guys are, that's what you guys are seeing right now. Because griffins are like the best flyers on the planet, dude. Those things are so great with that beautiful turn radius and flying backwards and all that. These creatures were never meant to be tamed. I've, I've, I've earned this. Damn it! <laughs> Hey, if I had any more oil pumps, I'd be freaking Chevron. Okay, you know what? I apologize to everybody for wasting your life. I, I, I'm mad at myself as well. Back to the goal. This is definitely not where I've gotten obsidian from before. I guess this is just one of the best places to get obsidian from. I need to remember where my tunnels are. I should, I should mark more locations, to be honest. Because I don't even remember where that giant beehive was from that one episode. There's a broodmother boss down there. Okay, this place is cursed out the wazoo. And don't get too attached to the dragon or anything about any of this. Okay, I, I don't think I've gone to the right location. What the shit? This, this place is terrifying. I've definitely never been here before. What are you, sir? What is that? What is what is that? What are what what are these what what, what what the hell is going on around here? I feel like someone definitely is in possession of an infinity stone around here. There's no way they aren't. What's up with the electrical storm? Well, this place is terrifying. This is definitely not where I was supposed to go. This is 1000% the wrong direction. I've certainly gone to the upside down of Ark. Yeah, if there was ever an upside down in Ark, this would be it. Everything is- shit is literally upside down. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, zombie wyverns everywhere and they, they are hostile. But you can't expect me to just leave this area. Oh! <gasps> There it is, fear evolved music. Actually, that's as good a sign as any that we should get the hell out of here. This place is definitely terrifying. I wanna harvest one of these crystals though. What if there's like some crazy... It's just gonna give me crystal, isn't it? The joke's gonna be on me, huh? But whatever, it'll be like for science. Okay, here, no one's no one's messing with this crystal right here. This These ones over here, they're virtually unscathed. Look at their movement and stuff. This is the most spiritual experience in my arc life right here, being in this place. Oh, you get elements off them. No freaking way. You get... Hang on. Whoa, Nelly. Whoa, Nellis. Hang on, buddy. I need you to plant down. Hang on, hang on, hang 
Plant down and go passive. Hang on. Plant down and go passive. We're getting the hell out of here. I do know how to get element very easy now, which is the best thing ever. Oh, guess who knows how to get element now? Eat my dirty panties. Um, this place is still pretty damn. T uh, I want more. More. This is where I'm gonna make a base. I'm gonna get dominant. I'm gonna get me a force field. I'm gonna get me a tech for. Is that saber still locked onto us? Hang on. I think I see him running through the bushes. I need to wait a second. This is for science. This place is amazing. Came here looking for obsidian and left with element. That's what I call a fair trade right there. Dude, this is so great. I love this because there's so many epic things that we can't do. Whoa, let's get the hell out of here without a fair amount of element. And uh, is that tree falling down? That's because there's things knocking trees down. So let's bounce, dude. But uh, it's just cool that we don't have to, we're not gonna have to get in constant boss fights after we are because obviously the first boss fights are going to be a bitch but once they're super easy just doing a bunch over and over again to get elements we can just come here and harvest it i totally know my goal in life now it's to conquer the upside down in this map that's what it is man i wasn't properly fulfilled enough with just destroying bosses because that's the same old thing that it oh my god phoenix christ but that's the same old thing many people do but I can get very excited about conquering the Upside Down. That sounds damn fancy. It's gonna require a heavy military presence. It is beautiful in here too. I'll bet the fruit from these trees would burn your butt so bad on the way out, but they would taste so good going in. Now we're cooking. Now I'm still pretty, pretty um, excited about the Upside Down over there. The possibilities. I, 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 those floating little balls of matter really blew my mind. I'm not gonna lie. That was that was. That was kind of a beautiful thing. Okay, I think this is all we're going to be able to. You're not even obsidian. But, uh, I need to go back. I'm so happy we have like a general, a higher purpose in this now than other just boss destroying, than just finding strong creatures and destroying them. We have a strong area we have to destroy. And it's it, it's cool, like taking over like the freaking wyvern trench, but instead of it being a trench full of wyverns, it's, it's a mystical evil place controlled by I don't even know what, man. Maybe we'll find out in season three. <laughs> are you freaking kidding me? Who decides these things? Where, 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 the, where the hell are these things gonna drop on flat little land bits? What is this? Gee, it's it's just it, it's ridiculous the things they make. Oh my god, there's I I could just I there's there's no way. It's like those trick videos in GTA where they land helicopters on some strippers boobs from a thousand miles away. Except this is actually impossible. All right, time to prove how much of a man you are, Johnny. Secret agent man, what are you doing, you fool? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, you you idiot! You were supposed to stay in place. You bastard. You know what? Forget you. All right, I have a life goal right now. I have a purpose. I need a better flyer or better skills, better everything. But what I need to do is conquer that upside down. Oh, man, it's going to be exciting going back there. And what I need to do is just get some teleporter in here. Once we'll, yeah, because the teleporter's not, I look at it as, it's not unrealistic by the time you're using it. And then you already have like a replicator and all these crazy other futuristic things that is actually included in Ark. So... Yeah, so it's once we be a tech stage, man. We'll just head on over there and and to just come through with like five dragons and just take over the entire freaking area. Can't wait to live in the upside down. That is gonna be so exciting, dude. That is that is that is the bee's knees right there. All right, nothing leave. Nothing. Oh Jesus! Intense, intense stuff right here. Scary, scary fish. Scary fish all around. The scariest thing would be if this thing just disappeared on me. Don't you go anywhere, you bastard. Boop a doop a doop boop a doop boop. Should just take it all, I know, but I don't want any more blueprints, man. I've got I'm a man of too many blueprints. Are there any blueprints I want in here? No, no, I'm a man of too many blueprints. Yeah, look, we got one of them. Cause this one was in a regular location, not on the tip top. This the all these princes Fiona or Fiona? What Fiona? You know when she was in the highest room of the tallest tower and all that in Shrek? That's a day. I've had enough of that. Of these Princess Fiona ass loot drops, man. Oh, I want this red one so bad, but I've been looking at it for a while. There's no way it's not about to go away, but I'll bet it's got some really cool stuff in it. That Titanosaur is flying. They're all flying. What the hell is going on around here? You've got to fly faster. You've got to fly faster. Oh my god. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. It's totally gonna bounce. It's totally, it's totally gonna bail. There's no way. There's, you've got to land. You've got to touch your butt down, buddy. Meep. 
Meep. Just, just, oh, oh my god. Just freaking blueprints. That's it. That's it. Hang on. Oh god, sometimes it's not entirely worth it. <laughs> you know, it's gonna be a fun episode when we have like. When we have about five or six soldiers on us that are actually, because that's all I want to carry around on us. In, in that Pooping Evolve series, and I was walking around with like 20 indoms, but they kept getting stuck on everything, and that was that was just goofy as hell, bro. But once we have a legit, actually, you know, okay, see, there's a boss right there. Just go down there and kill your ass. I wonder how dragon goblins fight though in the water. You think they're the, like the best at aquatic combat? Because I really don't see it that way. <laughs> actually, maybe. I guess they, they just, I just don't picture them as swimmers that much. They they glow beautifully though at nights. Oh my god, it's getting much more beautiful. All right, we can finally make these freaking photon cannons. This has been a long time coming right here. The entire series has built around this for the most part. Photon rifle cores coming right up, baby. Craft one, and we can craft two. Can we craft three? You dirty bastard. We you know the photon battery for you. We just need some angle gel. Okay, we should have just gotten a bunch of oil right there. Actually, I might be able to. Yeah. Okay, so what do we need to make you again? We can make a third one. Oh my god, can we make a fourth one of you? <gasps> I'm depleting myself of all precious resources right now, but I don't even give a crap. Can we make a? Yeah, we can't make another. I knew I was pushing it. Either way, though, that's still pretty fancy right there. So now we have this bad boy locked and loaded. Oh my god, look at this mega cannon right here. How much ammo do you hold? Okay, so it holds 100 shots while those are each one shot. Look at that thing. This is what they use in freaking Men in Black to take down that flying saucer. I just remembered we know where to get mass amounts of elements. We're awesome. That That's it, the upside down, the best place ever. Like, I can't wait to go back there and just loot the crap out of that entire place and just go to war with the entire neighborhood. It's gonna be so much fun. But first, we have responsibilities and such. The main one being survival. Now, what was I gonna do? I just had plans. I had full-on intentions a second ago. That's, that's what I was doing. Do we, by chance, have enough to repair you, little buddy? Yeah, look at that. Repairing the old shoddy stuff. All right, officially ready to go out on an adventure. I'm actually ready for an adventure this time. Did I just... Okay, yes, yeah, sweet. It's legendary. We need, I need to really... See, I want to get the upgrade station mod in here. I really do. I know a lot of you guys request it. And I've had it in just about all my survival series. Just because I always play with a bunch of other experienced YouTubers. And everyone generally uses it. But it... it I don't know. The mod, it almost makes me feel like... It makes it feel a lot less special. When you do get some... Look at this guy. Jesus. It almost looks better like this. I fight better when my package swings freely. But, I don't know, it just makes it not nearly as special when you actually come across an epic pair of armor and such. Okay, now this little journey I'm gonna go off on foot because I wanna go try and find a dragon godling. There's at least five or six in my neighborhood at any given time. And, alright, you know what, we'll just bring one of these guys. We're gonna bring Amber, but I'm just saying, we know what happens. I just ran up that wall. That just happened. That was beautiful. I saw this freaking parasaur do it. Thought it might be possible. Turns out it's very possible. All right, down there, Cryo Goddess. What level are you, woman? Level 53. Not quite what we're working with right now. This why Wait, which one of you wyverns did I almost tame? Actually, that blue one is gorgeous right there. I just want to know how level it is. Whoa, where are you going, buddy? What, what the hell is going on here? Right, there we go. Ooh, level 138. That's actually a very perfect wyvern right there, but it's... Well, level 138 wyvern, we're looking at at least the next 40 minutes just standing by that thing, feeding it crystals. So there was a dark godling up here yesterday, but I guess he died because he was just so weak. The dude was only like level 34 or something. That little pool right there is very cool. Okay, there's no way I'm passing up this purple drop. There's, there's just one of these days I'm going to get so lucky with him. I've had such a bad run with drops for the past, I don't know, so and so many drops, so my luck is... I'm, I'm up. I'm due. I'm due for some incredulous weapon or something. Man, we still can't even kill Prime Alphas. That's that's the thing. That's how you get all the good loot. Holy crap, level 200 Cryo Goddess. That's, well, that's a fancy creature right there. See, unfortunately, I always just looked at the Cryo Goddesses. It's much, much more of like a defensive slash taming creature than an offensive slash killing creature. Because I'm pretty sure you could construct stuff in its inventory and it does torpor damage and it turns creatures to ice so it freezes them and puts them to sleep which is of course great unless you're just trying to viciously kill the creature as quick as possible because it's a boss and torpor doesn't do that much to it or anything and that in that case 
You gotta want its brothers, the Dark Godling or the Fire Godling. Come on, buddy. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, yeah, all kinds of awesome stuff. I might just take this entire thing, actually. Ooh, Celestial Lance to upgrade my Epic Lance. Oh, snap. That is so great. All right, that's a pretty good upgrade right there. This is going to knock people to sleep even quicker. Whoa, look at this guy. Look at this big stubby bastard caught out of the ocean. Crotosaurus. Oh, that's a boss. That's a boss creature, actually. Hang on. This might be actually a very easy kill right now if it's actually beached. And this creature is actually labeled as a boss dino in the Jurassic World mod, which means that it could drop boss-like items, which would be phenomenal, obviously. So I'm going to poke it with a stick a little bit. Go get back over here, buddy. Come on. Don't go in the water. You want to stay over here. You want to stay over here with me, don't you, buddy? Am I actually poking it? Because I'm not seeing numbers coming up. What's going on here? See, now I'm seeing numbers. Now I feel as though I'm doing damage to it. We might get blueprints off this creature right now if I kill it. Oh, it's already so weak. Nyet, 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 nyet. This is a pretty epic creature, but I mean, look how weak it is. It wouldn't even make the journey back to our base. Okay, nope. That was just animal abuse. And I gained nothing from it. It, it. Whoops. Oh, hang on. We might be onto something here. We got us a dark godling. Ooh, an elder dark godling level 223 female. Okay, that's right there will suffice just greatly. I was kind of hoping for something around level 300, 400, just because I'm, I kind of want a creature we could actually take into boss battles and such, but I don't think we're going to have that yet, so we might as well tame creatures around this level and just kind of get multiple of them, and then one day we'll dominate enough strength and such to where we could actually focus on godlike creatures. This one, if we could tame, I'd actually be... No, but it's a female. We can't name it Thanos. Crap. What's a very powerful purple female? In the Marvel Universe. Oh, isn't she lovely? Look at that, knocking that tree over. Okay, you guys ready to die a horrible, painful, embarrassing deaths? Maybe lo locate where you are on the map so when you have to come fetch your dragon, that you're able to do it. Instantly forgot where I was on the map. I'm just gonna instantly forget again. I'm just gonna remember it's by that little bit of landmass that's actually the desert that looks like garlic bread. All right, take aim, soldiers. I wonder if it's distant even reaches that far. I don't want to waste any shots. Okay, we definitely got it there. Oh, it's definitely coming our way. Oh, it freezes when you shoot it. That is perfect. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I've lost so much faith. Ah! Oh, God damn. What the hell? Oh, 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 oh Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm, I, I'm stuck on a tree and I'm going to die. Oh, my God. Move, you dumb bastard. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, this is so fr- This is so messed up. This is so messed up. This is so messed up. Why would it reload? Oh god! No, 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 no. This is not going how it was supposed to. Oh, Jesus Christ, when it jumps at you, it's the scariest thing ever. Oh my god, it's right behind me, isn't it? You know what I really hate? Giant purple dragons. There's one right behind me, isn't there? I'm gonna have to use up this entire thing and just hope for the best. You better reload. Oh god, Gamma's gonna be a pain in the ass because it's becoming daytime and I don't have time to switch it. Yeah. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Run, Johnny, run, 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 run. Run your stupid little face off, boy. Where is it? I can't see it because of the freaking... Here's the purple flame. I don't have time to reload. I gotta run, I gotta run, I gotta run, I gotta run, I gotta run. I gotta run and eat, 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 I gotta turn the fire, turn the fire, run and eat. Oh god, what, it, what, the, what the hell is that? That is the scariest thing. Okay, reload, reload, reload. Oh god! No! No! Dude, there is just no chance! There is no goddamn chance! How do you tame those monsters? How do you do it? What is, what am I, what, what the, what the, what the, what the? Alright, Aether. Get ready. We have a we have a search a, a recovery a recovery mission going on. Get that up there a bit. Get that get it all up there a bit. Yes. This poor buddy's actually never been taken at yet. Poor Wyvern was captured, enslaved, and never's gotten a chance to stretch his wings yet. So sad when that happens. Alright, buddy, let's fly! Dude, dildos, man, those things are so freaking Okay, it's definitely over here. Those things are so damn powerful. And like, beasts, man, they are hard as hell to tame. 
Jesus. <laughs> I can't believe that just happened. I just got, I, I really honestly thought it was gonna go down a little differently than that. And it just didn't, man. It just really did not. It went down exactly like that. I know you're left, I know I left you around here somewhere, right? I think it was this little chain of islands. I'm almost positive of it. Yeah, we're definitely right by because I remember seeing Nasher down there. Nasher the Turtle Warden. And I remember thinking, hey, look, there's Nasher the Turtle Warden. Dude, where the God, I this dragon recovery system is exhausting. We still have a dragon from last episode we never even recovered. That's how exhausting it is. There you are. There you are, you bastard. Oh, you're just a regular old dragon. Yeah. Oh, wait. There you are. There you are. Nya, nya, nya. All right, perfect. You know what? Actually, which one of you would be harder to fly back? Where is that? Where's that godling? Where'd he go? Where did he wander off to? See, now that I've died, I'm back to 8,000. How the hell? I just noticed because my character is way faster movement speed. I have noticed this has been going on for a while. I'm not like stupid and just now noticing. For those of you saying, God, he's stupid. How is he just now noticing? Oh, there you are, you bastard. It's just weird. I'm just now finally addressing it. I want to go for it again, man. I have way more health this time. I feel like I could do it. No, Johnny, no. You know this is going to go down, you dumb bastard. You know how... Hang on. Okay, you know what we need is the cryo goddess. That's I, th I feel like that's what we gotta do. I feel like that's why she's here. No, the freaking photon cannon is definitely here specifically for the dragons. They're made by the same mod dev. They're, they're the dragon godling helmet, in fact, is part of the photon cannon mod, not even the dragon godling mod. Look, I have my extra movement speed. I have my extra health. I think you could go down differently this time. The question is, is there enough photon blasts? Because I hit him with like 30. Almost 30, hit him with like 20, and it got down that. I don't know if there's just even enough. But. Damn it, I have to try. What if we just fail, though? Are you guys getting. Okay. What if we just fail this entire episode? This is all for nothing. Well, now I have the resources to gather more photon cans, at least, so we know how to. We know how to get these 100%, how to get the ammo for it. I just honestly, guys, I feel like it's just. It's just not nearly as fun to play it safe. And every second I think about it more and more is another second that it is waking up you want to sleep you bastard if we fail this episode then i promise next one i will play it much safer oh god reload 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 get out of my way dodo i feel like i'm way faster than you now you bastard i'm basically a speedster basically a speedster i don't know how it happens i don't know I, i'm pretty sure it's just like with most most metahumans it's under times of great physical stress and like fear is when the power comes out of me. You know what I'm saying? Like how when they when they were trying to make Deadpool a superhuman, and they pretty much just shocked his body constantly with horrible things. That's what's going on here. When you jump at me, I run this way. <laughs> yeah, I thought that went out pretty well. Yeah, you dumb bastard. Reload, reload, reload. Just reload now. I'd rather have a full clip. Looks like yep, reload, reload. Perfect. Wow, I just pooped a lot. Or are you turning around, buddy? I can't tell. Where are you going? Where are you going, sir, poops? We have him down to 60, and I've used up so much ammo. All right, that's kind of spirit crushing. I'm not going to lie. That right there kind of kind of breaks my heart a little bit. That right there definitely just lost some face tickles. It's only going down. We're one-tenth of the way. I'm definitely not one-tenth of the way through the ammo. Okay, there is just no physical way to tame this guy for me right now. There's, it's just not... It's just not my forte. At least I took the brave path. I've got to make a lot more ammo with it, though. Definitely. Definitely going to want to be a lot more prepared. We fly! Damn, son. Well, at least we went, like, balls to the wall. We didn't chicken out or anything. We definitely... We tried to tame it. It's just... It's torpor. It's so damn out of this world still. It's, it's just not... It's just not. I think I'm going to have to get online tonight, and I'm going to have to go gather resources for hours and hours. And um, 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 I'm gonna have to come back with like 400, 500 photon cannon to tame a creature that powerful. Absolutely, I think it's just so damn beast. That's so funny. And here I was saying, man, he's really not strong enough. He's kind of a weenie, but I guess I'll tame him anyway since I'm here. And it's like, yeah, right, Johnny. You know what you're gonna do is you're gonna use up half your ammo. You're gonna die, and you're gonna just, just, just waste your life on him. Okay, we did pass a very high-level cryo goddess. That did happen. Where it happened, however, I do not know. 
But there's only like freaking eight of these little islands around here. So if you scan all of them, you're eventually, and then once you get to the last one, like the last two is where the dark godling's at. And then you get to the desert biome. I've never really memorized this map as much as I am in the survival series, but I've never really been into a survival series nearly as much on this map as I am now. Like now I have to go take over the upside down. That's, that's still something I have to do. You know what we need to do is freaking kill some godlings. I'm just now realizing exactly what we need to do. Exactly why I went down so much differently before. It's because this isn't even a slightly upgraded uh, photon cannon. And yeah, if I want to take the easy way out, I could put the upgrade station in. But what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to kill puppets and godlings. And you're supposed to use the, the, the items you get off of them on the sacrificial altar. And then you get Midas Touches, and then you equip the Midas Touch to your Photon Cannon, and it upgrades it and makes it way, way, way more powerful. I'm using a base level Photon Cannon on a high level Godling right there. That's exactly what you don't want to do. Look, there's another one stuck right there. What the hell's going on around here? Okay, so I'm happy I've discovered the error of my ways. Unfortunately, that means we still have a lot more work to do, but I mean, that's you don't want a series to only have a little bit of work to do anyways. Where the hell is that Cryo Goddess? The chick totally ran out on me. Oh, oh, banana shoes. Banana shoes. There she blows. Oh, that's that's inappropriate because she's a female. You know what? There's gay men out there. Men blow too. Everything's words. Oh, I'm sorry, whale, but you're not getting out of there, buddy. Like that is, you are one beached whale. Okay, so, I mean, I don't know how this is going to go down right now. I, I'm going into this with, the, with all the hopes in the world. The thing is, I can't use my new pike on her because she does incredible amounts of torpor as well. Ooh. She actually blindly targets anybody in the vicinity of her. So let me go ahead and get a little bit away from her. I don't know if I have enough torpor in this cannon to take her out. I don't. I just don't know. I just know I could give it my best. And that's all I could do. Yep, that's pretty much it. That's the epitome of Johnny today. Worst case scenario, I come back with much more photon cannon bullets next episode. And really redeem myself. Or I don't. And I, I mean, that's, that's, no, that's definitely what's happening next episode either way. Because I now realize if I want to take down epic creatures, I'm going to need the proper equipment. I wish I could hit you right in the face. I feel like I'm shooting at, like whatever cryo blast she shoots. Because it's blue and it's cold and it knocks people. No, 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 she can't get near you, she can't get near you, she can't get near you, she can't get near you. That's actually too close right there, Johnny. Uncomfortably close, uncomfortably close. No! That's what I was trying to avoid. Exactly. And now she's going to rape my face, isn't she? Ah! Go away, go away, go, damn it. Every time she breathes on me, look at me, I'm in an ice cube. I'm in a goddamn ice cube right now. Dude, this is hard, okay? Solo taming these dragons is difficult. I'm gonna be the first two minutes. I'm gonna start really reevaluating my tactics, but the thing is, these dragons are very fast. They fly and they jump higher than any creature ever could ever jump. They are the apex predator of the island, and. That is just the way it is. At least about losing any creatures in these videos. That part's pretty cool, you know? Even this, frostbite, lose a couple toes. Maybe my dong, I'm not using it anyways. There's no other humans on this entire island. All right, you bitch, where'd you get off to? I'm awake now. I've seen the lights. Stay woke, ladies and gentlemen. Where'd she go? What are these guys doing? Where'd you vanish off to? Where'd you- there you are. Think- oh, 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 oh! Look who's got some serious torpor missing from her face. Just make sure you run as you're reloading, Johnny. Run your buns. Run your buns off, seriously, buddy. Because she will knock your asses- is that- what, what kind of megalodon is that? Oh, it's just a, a regular dead megalodon. Okay, cool. Where are you going, lady? You owe me some serious lobster money. We're getting her, dude. We're getting her and her little dog, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, God, we're running very low on ammunition. That That is worrisome. Oh, very low on ammunition. Oh, troublingly low on ammunition. I'm not letting any torpor build up. This isn't even... I mean, I'm not spacing these out at all. This isn't about spacing... No! Damn it! I knew it is... Oh, oh, and now, the, and now they're all gonna mug me, aren't they? Freaking Pegos. You little bitch! That's so many cooked meat! That's way, look, he's like, that's, that's too much meat for a pego to steal. That's why I divide my food up right there. Because the, because the muggers in this neighborhood. All right, there you go. Stop doing, luckily she stops. She messes with, messes with you a little bit and then just leaves. 
She probably sticks around to kill you for the for the most part, but I have a lot of health, so I can't believe even with 8,000 health and being as fast as the flash, you also still need like so much damn ammunition. Oh, your days are numbered, woman. Oh, and we are back at it. All right, and I'm out of food this time. Little pego bastard, man, who just steals a man's lunch like that? Like that much food? Who even needs that much food? What a bastard. Okay, where'd she get off to? Water she blow, Captain. Where'd she get off to, man? She's gotta be in the vicinity. She's gotta be close. She's just gotta be. Oh man, I did not, I did not, I did not plan on this part. I thought she'd be in the vicinity. Where'd she go? Oh God. There you are. There you are. She's right by my base. Oh, sketchy stuff, man. Sketchy stuff. Can you please touch your ass down for the love of Christ? All right, I'm gonna need everyone to go like passive right now for the most part or just Just oh, I'm gonna regret that. I'm gonna regret it. I know it. I'm gonna regret it. I know it. Hey, she's right above my base that I can't have that I literally can't have this at all anyways Come back over here woman come to me Come to me Come to me lady. Come on over here. What are you lowering into my base for? No Get off a of fireball Get off of him you she bitch! You're gonna go to sleep. You're gonna go to sleep right now. You're gonna go to sleep. Get the hell out of my town. Get out of my neighborhood. Yes! Asleep right where- Oh my god, I could not have planned this. Asleep any better. Look at this. Asleep right in my base. Holy- This is the most skilled thing I've ever pulled off in my life, I think. This might be it. This might- You, Trey. Come here, buddy. I'm about to eat your food. I'm gonna eat your soul. Easy, everybody, easy. Easy, I don't want anyone doing anything rash. Let's all be calm here. I don't have any food on me, so I just wanted to take some out of this guy. All right, let's, I can't believe it. In my base, in my base. Skills, dude, freaking skills right there. You can't make this kind of stuff up. That, that's, that's too gracious right here. I, I am I am just gonna pat myself on the back for this one for decades to come eons possibly Centuries, I think that's shorter than eons dude in my base Hang on you you fool you you butt either either you dumb butt either you butt of a face Come here, buddy Come here. Let's go ahead and just walk you right on over here. I am missing another flyer. Oh, he's over there Okay, either Perfect. Perfect. Let's go and hit you up, buddy. Let's get you hitched, shall we? Look at William Vaughn over here just bouncing around loving life. How's it looking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're damn right that's how it's looking. Dude, I, I cannot believe that bad boy landed in my base. What are the odds of that? That is just the weirdest thing ever. Talk about good base locationing. All right, William. Let's go ahead and tie up the wyverns, close the gates. No one's leaving here or entering ever again. I'm just kidding, crowd guys. I'm so happy about this, man. With like my last bullet, I, I was poking her in the end. That's how close it was right there. But that is scary. Imagine if a dark dragon golly just boinged right on in here. I mean, we're gonna have to eventually make our walls in the Aether. In the Aether, we'll make our walls like 100 feet tall. Well, they'll have to be. Well, it'd be the upside down though. Things can just kind of go upside down into our base. Just stop being hungry or something. What's going on here? I actually notice this a lot when I'm taming on this uh, on this world. They all just dead stop at one point or another. What do you think? Should we hit her again? Hit her with another one. Funny story. When I was taming these subscriber pets, I am um, I used up two sedative narcotics on myself. It's way too easy to just click on, accidentally click E while looking at it. Way too easy, if you ask me, man. This is so great. All right, as the hurricane kicks in. Good timing. I can't believe he landed in our base while he was attacking. She's attacking freaking Grimlock. Or no, she's attacking Fireball. Thank God I had these guys on passive. Or it would have died. Instantly. Let's keep you, Beefcake. Yeah, Beefcake. Yeah, Cryo Goddess. Oh, God. What should we name the Cryo Goddess? She's a goddess. She's a female. A male goddess? Oh my god, 2017, everybody. A male cryo goddess. So I guess a masculine name. Um, 
Goddess, I mean cryo given, of course, because the creature cryogenically freezes things, which is pretty spectacular. I mean, obviously, as you guys saw, I was an ice cube. Yeah, see, you can craft everything in a cryo goddess. At least saddles and other stuff, you're basically a smithy, aren't you? See, that's useful as hell right there. Oh, 54,000 health, that is useful too. Slow as hell, but turns things to ice cube. Look at that. Poor little, it's still awake, he just can't fly. He's just an ice cube. He's just, just struggling to fly a poor ice cube creature right there. That's hilarious. Oh, it's like it doesn't even go to sleep. It just turns into an ice cube. Where are you going? You can't escape the ice. Oh, ice cube fallen. Look at that, it just falls like an ice cube. It's, it's an ice cube with wings struggling to fly. That's the most hilarious thing ever. It's a little sad, I'll admit. She has cryogenic freezing abilities. She could cryogenically freeze creatures instantly. That's too funny right there. All right, I assume if we go melee damage, right? The more melee, let me know if you guys, if you guys, uh, if you guys remember, because I can't exactly remember. If we go just melee damage, that should affect her ability to freeze things and such, right? That's what that, that's what that whole thing is, because that's generally what I'm looking for. Because we're going to be using her to freeze up the freaking, oh, it's so pretty. To freeze up the Dark Godling. We have big plans for you, woman. All right, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. Now that we have our Cryo Goddess, we got a good step forward to taming an epic boss creature that we could use to defeat other bosses and such, which is generally the entire goal behind everything. And then, of course, now we have a new um, goal. We have to stop the, or we have to conquer the Upside Down. We have that whole thing to worry about. I see you over there, tucked under Amber. William Vaughn likes to mess around with di or dragons. I get it, buddy. We all like to be weird sometimes. Let's just go ahead and calm you down. Enough of that. All right, guys. If you had a good time watching, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you beautiful people next time. Peace. It's time to get in here.